and then it braces <laughs> 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 Hey guys, I'm Nidge, and this is a photo of me and my invisible mate Barry playing cards. Have you ever noticed how incredibly high buildings are getting? Every few years, a new building goes up that claims the title of the world's tallest. First, it was a tent, then the pyramids, Old St Paul's Cathedral, the Home Insurance Building in Chicago, the Empire State Building, and now this one, the Burj Khalifa, at a massive 829.8 metres. So my question is, can this keep going on forever and ever? Could we literally build apartments to the moon? Are there any limits on how high we can build? So the Burj is the tallest building we have right now. What are some of the basic principles that we rely on to build this high? Our universe has three spatial dimensions and they scale in a peculiar way. If we have this Jenga piece and make everything 10 times as big, like this one, the height is 10 times as big, but the surface area is 100 times bigger, and the volume and the mass is 1,000 times bigger. The forces required to secure a building depend on the mass, so to build taller, we can't just scale things measure for measure. We have to change the geometry as we go up. Galileo used this reasoning to provide some of the first clues into the atomic nature of matter, thinking that if you can't scale up arbitrarily, the forces must depend on individual building blocks. Nature figured out how to build tall things through millions of years of evolution. The tallest trees in the world, the Californian redwoods and the Australian mountain ash, can both grow up to 100 metres high, and both are wider at the base than they are at the top. To build man-made structures more than eight times higher than that, we've taken a leaf out of the tree's book. The Burj Khalifa has the same tapered tree trunk structure for strength, with steel and concrete roots for foundations that extend more than 50 metres underground. That's a long way. The base and cross-section of the Burj is shaped in a three-pointed star, giving it strength from any lateral forces. The taper to a point gives it a low centre of mass and an ability to disperse the immense gravitational forces over a wide area at the base. And finally, it maintains stability through the core with smart engineering design and the right choice of materials. So what are those materials? To build as high as the Burj, we actually use a combination of them. Some materials are incredibly strong under tension, like sticky tape, but not so good under compression. Others are really good under compression, like concrete, but not so good under tension. Still others, like steel, are good at providing strength at the same time as allowing flexibility. In 2020, the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia is set to hit the one kilometre mark and other buildings have been designed to push even further, like this epic mile-high skyscraper in Tokyo. All of these basically rely on the same materials that we're using right now. So how high can we build with current technologies? To answer this, engineers have found some inspiration in unlikely places. So these guys are about three millimetres high. Uh, what would the equivalent be for humans? Okay, well, so these are three millimetres high. A termite mound's about uh, six metres, seven metres high. So the equivalent building for humans would be about 3.4 kilometres high. Yeah, it's about four times the height of the highest building in the, in the world, which is the Burj Khalifa. So if uh, termites had to give us any advice on how to build amazing structures of engineering, uh, what would that advice be? Well, what we know is that termites not only build very uh, high structures compared to their height, they also build them very wide. So, you know, the height of the highest termite mound is about seven metres, but the width is also very large, so about 1.5 metres wide. That's the equivalent of about at least 10 Telstra stadiums in terms of width. So the lesson from termites is if you want to go high, you've got to go wide. With this in mind, I present to you the tallest building ever designed. It's called the Exceed 4000. At four kilometres high and covering a base of around six kilometres, this thing was projected to house somewhere between 500,000 and one million people. It was never designed actually to be built, but they just went through the process to see if it was possible. The Exceed 4000 would sit over water and cost around one trillion US dollars to make. But why stop there? Why not go all the way to making a space elevator? The idea is to have a massive weight hung up in space in geostationary orbit and have that weight connected to the ground with a super strong cable that would be able to climb up and down on. 
a whole bunch of people have looked into whether or not it would work. And there isn't any fundamental law of physics that prevents it from happening. It's just that we haven't found a material that's both strong enough and light enough to work as the cable. Though it's possible that carbon nanotubes might one day do the trick. Essentially, when it comes to building big, the sky isn't the limit. We can go beyond it. <laughs> it was the asymmetrical ones, the f***ers. <laughs>